very last video, I have shown you how to configure an EC2 instance on AWS account. If you did not check that out, please go ahead and check that, or I will put that link in the description so that you can configure an EC2 instance on your AWS account or platform. So in this video, I am going to show you how to deploy a Spring Boot application on your EC2 instance. So let's get started. So I already have an instance created here, which is up and running. So I'm on the EC2 dashboard right now. So I'm just going over to the running instances of EC2. So for demonstration, I created my EC2 instance. So let's open that up and take this IP address. And I want to connect to this EC2 instance from my local machine. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use Mobike's term, which is a remote connection management toolbox. So if you do not know what is Mobike's term, just Google it. So Mobile X term download, and it will take you to their official web page. They have two different versions one for the home edition, for which is for free, and another one is the professional one, which is which requires some payment. So, I would suggest to go ahead with the home edition one. And um, this Mobile X term actually um, deserves one totally separate demonstration video since it has a uh, whole lot of functionalities in itself so i'm not going to go over all these functionalities here i'm just going to show you how you can connect to your ec2 instance using mobax term and deploy your very first spring Boot application on your ec2 instance so um, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a new session and it will uh, take me to these session settings where i will be creating a new ssh session and in the remote host text field you are going to put that ip address of your research instance and in the username section you have to put that your institute instance username in my case it's institute dash user and the port is 22 and in the advanced ssh settings segment you will have to uh, bind that private key that you generated and you're using with your EC2 instance. And so I've been using this one. So I'm going to upload that here. And then I'm going to click OK. So if things are OK, then I will be, yes, the connection is successful. And I'm taken into this uh, EC2 instance from my local machine using Mobile Term. So right now, as you can see, I be here and then EC2 user. I'm logged into that EC2 instance from my um, local machine with this credential. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm um, um, taking the root permission. So now I'm the root user, and you see on the left panel you get this uh, visualization of the folder structure. So it. Um, becomes much more easier when you are working with um, this um, deployment thing and all those. So I also have a Spring Boot application created. So if you do not know how to create a Spring Boot application, I also have a video on this where I shown like how to create Spring Boot application and I use five different ways to create one. So please go ahead and check that out and for sure I will put that link in the description as well. So check that out if you do not know how to create a Spring Boot application. So I already have one, so I'm not going to uh, create a new one. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the message what will be uh, uh, what we'll use for this for the testing of the deployment so uh, this is called from AWS EC2 
instant hello aws so i should take that in front of the sentence Let, let's keep it this way and let's build this application build is successful so now I am going to going back to the terminal again and here what I would like to do is I would like to um, organize this whole structure a little bit so since I have that EC2 user I'm just not using that one instead what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this USR directory here and inside this user directory, I'm going to create a new directory called user. Users. Um, directory, sorry. I think I need to do it from this terminal. So let's try it this way. So home. Uh, EC2 user. Okay, just use this EC2 user. Um, EC2 user. And I'm gonna create a new directory called architecture. And then what I get is this one. And PWD. So the current location is this one. And so I'm gonna get into the social directory and then I get this structure. So I am going back to this home to user Ashikur. And this is where I'm going to upload that build file that we just created. So I'm getting back here space target and this I'm going to re rename this okay my app dot jar and this is what I'm going to upload here it's like it's restricting the user to upload so what I'm going to do I'm going to change the directory okay so let's move that so let's move the directory from the command but let me try it this way um, Okay, so let's let's create a new directory here, let's say this one. No. permission is tonight okay uh, it says that he used 
sudo command for the execution of this. So let me get back to here. Okay. Go to current directory. And now it's working. So it was um, like the permission issue. So now it's it has been uploaded. Okay, so now if I get to my current location, I get the jar file here. So I'm gonna execute that that uh, Java jar my app dot jar and I'm gonna run it to let's say 9091 this port so okay okay so this instance is totally new so um, the Java is not installed here so let me um, search for this Java install web Java, there is no Java install, so let me install it. Um, yum search Java, so let me check which Java is available here. So we have Java 11 and all that. So let me install this one. So I should have configured this one before building this application, but whatever. Yum install. Okay, it says that the installation is successful, so now let's verify that. Uh, Java OpenJTK 11.0.19 is the version that we have installed on our EC2 instance, and now, now, let, now let's check the compiler version of our JDK. Uh, Java C is not found. I'm not sure why that so, yeah so sorry so for the java c version i didn't have put that one yeah still not working so let's give that and try to execute that jar file now so okay Yeah, so as you can see, the jar file uh, has been executed and our application is running. So let me get back to the browser, specifically to our residue instance, and let's copy this IP address. Or you can open that address just by clicking on that symbol. And then we have to put that. Um, port where we are actually running our application on this test. So if you if we so it's not basically HTTPS. So it's HTTP. So as you can see our uh, application has been successfully deployed on EC2 instance and our application is showing this message. Hello AWS this is called from AWS EC2 instance. So, um, this is how you can um, build and deploy your Spring Boot application on AWS um, um, EC2 instance. Okay, so that's all for this demonstration video. In the very uh, next video, I'm going to show you how to um, create a 
um, lambda lambda uh, function on AWS and um, run it from your local machine. Okay. So since then, take care. Bye.